sometimes I'm eating at a restaurant and I'll tell someone for the first time that I'm vegetarian and sometimes I'll get this, they'll go, yeah, you look like a vegetarian. What's that supposed to mean? Meow! Hello everyone, happy Saturday. So I was thinking about what to film my next video on and this one idea kept sticking in my brain and so I thought why not just film it. So here we are. By the way, I apologize for any noises going on in the background throughout this video. It is like 80 degrees outside so we're just going to ignore that for the sake of not sweating to death. If you don't already know, I am a vegetarian. I have been for about five years now. Yeah, about five years now. And it's a topic that's really important to me and I thought I would make this video because I wish I had something like this to watch a few years back when I was first going vegetarian. So I hope it may help some of you guys who are maybe going vegetarian or considering going vegetarian. Um, these are just some of my tips that have worked for me in my journey of not eating meat and uh, I hope some of you find this helpful as anyone to become vegetarian or vegan. I'm not here to push my views on you. You can eat whatever you want, but if you're interested in becoming vegetarian or anything about this topic, even maybe cutting out some meat or just eating healthier in general, you might find this interesting. Um, if not, if you're not interested in it, you don't care about any of these issues, then just move on. That's fine. Um, I hope you come back next week because we'll have something else maybe more interesting to you to talk about. Alright, so moving on to my tip. Alright, so my first tip I have for you if you're considering going vegetarian is to not do it cold turkey. This may work for some people and if you end up doing it this way and it works for you then hey, there's no rules to doing this. These are just my tips for what worked for me and what I feel is probably the easiest transition into not eating meat. Uh, the way I did it was I cut out all meat first except for fish, so I was technically a pescetarian. Uh, I think I did this for a few months before eventually cutting out fish all together and meat and everything. Uh, this was a lot easier for me, mainly for the reason that going out with family or friends or just eating at home, uh, I didn't have to totally resort to just vegetables or alternatives. I had the fish option. Um, I know some people do the method where they cut out like one thing at a time, so maybe cutting out uh, red meat first and then moving on to chicken and then fish and then going veggie all together. Uh, whatever makes more sense to you, whatever you think will help you transition more. My second tip I have for you is to figure out what you are going to eat. I know this probably sounds kind of obvious, but when I went vegetarian, I kind of just said I'm going for it. I did still eat fish for a while, but aside from that, I knew why I was going vegetarian, but I didn't exactly know how I was going to go vegetarian. So my tip for you would be to research what's out there, research what you're going to eat, what you have access to. Um, there's definitely a lot of things that you probably already have and haven't even thought of that is vegetarian that you eat on a daily basis. So just, it doesn't take a lot of work, but just do some research and figure out what you're going to eat. Uh, it'll save you a lot of peanut butter and jellies at dinner time when you're the only one sitting there who doesn't know what they're going to eat for dinner. Doing this will probably also help the people you're living with transition better to your new eating habits, especially if you're younger and you still live with your parents and maybe they're still making your meals. Um, finding out easy things to make for dinner is going to help them a lot. Uh, just some things off the top of my head that I like to eat a lot. Uh, Mexican food, Italian food, spaghetti, easily made vegetarian, uh, salads, vegetables, all that good stuff, already veggie. Um, some other things you can do if you buy your own food or if your parents are willing to kind of venture out into the alternative meat selection. Uh, a couple brands I have found to be the best in terms of vegetarian alternatives. One is Morningstar Foods and another is Gardein. These are both brands that you can probably find in your local grocery store. Um, 
they're usually in a separate like organic or vegetarian section. Uh, they have a lot of frozen foods. Another one is Amy's. They make a lot of great food as well. Um, just make sure you check on the back of the label. Usually they're labeled as vegetarian or vegan, but uh, you'll find yourself looking through the ingredients list a lot more when you cut out meat from your diet, which probably isn't a bad thing because you get to see all the crap that's in food, which isn't that great. Something else to check out is if you have a Trader Joe's grocery store near you, I would definitely try shopping there more often because they have some of their own brand vegetarian meats and alternative products that are way cheaper than the big store brands that you'll find at your local grocery store and they are all delicious, none of them have failed me. I have to say that this is an awesome time to go vegetarian. I know I've only been vegetarian for five years, but even so, five years ago, there wasn't a lot in the frozen or alternative meat section. Um, there was like Boca burgers and like a couple Morningstar products and that was about it. So I was kind of like stuck with what they had if I wanted to kind of get some meat alternatives or like branch out from spaghetti every night. Um, but now they have awesome stuff. Not that you need to fill your diet with soy proteins and stuff like that, but they are awesome options. My third tip for you would be to be inventive when going out to eat with friends or family. When I first started out, I was kind of a picky eater, and I think actually being vegetarian has made me be more adventurous in my eating habits. I've found a whole new world of food that I probably would not have even tried being a meat eater. Um, just normal things, I guess, just like hummus and different vegetables and stuff that I wasn't really branching out into when I was eating meat. So it's not a bad thing to branch out, but definitely try it, go out of your comfort zone, and be creative when you're going out because it might seem difficult at first going to the normal restaurants you used to with people and wanting to eat with them what you used to eat. And you might be surprised how easy it is to order vegetarian at a restaurant. For instance, you can get um, meals that have chicken in them, say chicken pasta or chicken salad, and just ask for it without the meat. Bam, it's vegetarian. Uh, you can actually do that with a lot of things. Um, I'll even go to Mexican restaurants where usually they'll have lots of veggie options there, but if I want something different, I'll ask to get beans instead of meat in one of their things. So um, I do that at a lot of places and I have never really had a problem. Uh, also places like Chipotle, Taco Bell, you can find meat alternatives there. Uh, yeah, it's I really have not had a problem eating out. so. Um, just kind of use your brain a little bit when you're looking at the menu and most restaurants have no problem uh, substituting things for you. My fourth tip and probably I think one of the most important tips I can give someone is to figure out what your driving force is for going vegetarian. Uh, is it because it's better for the environment? Is it for animal welfare reasons? Is it just because you're trying to eat healthier? Is it a mix of all three or something else? Um, just figure out why you're choosing to eat like this. I'm sure you already have an idea of why, otherwise you wouldn't even be watching this video. Um, but maybe figure out your main reasons or all of the reasons that you found that make you want to be vegetarian. Do some more research in it. Uh, maybe watch some documentaries. They're not all easy to watch, but educating yourself on why you're going to eat this way will make doing it that much easier. That brings me to tip number five, my last tip I have for you today. Uh, explain to your family and friends your reasoning for changing your diet. Uh, if you explain to them your driving force behind it, they will probably understand your reasoning more and they'll probably be more supportive if they aren't already. Uh, I know a lot of people are afraid of their parents not being supportive of them and just kind of making their whole new choice fail for them or their friends making fun of them. Uh, so if you know why you're doing it and you know this is what you really want to do and you explain that to them, you'll probably have an easier time doing this and you'll probably realize that, hey, it's not that big a deal anyways and you can move on with your life being meat free. So I hope this video helped out at least a couple of you. If you are thinking about becoming vegetarian or if you're just starting out being vegetarian, um, if you're on the fence about it, I hope this kind of gave you more information uh, about choosing this diet and this way of eating. 
Um, I'm going to put a couple links down below to some documentaries and websites where you can get more information, uh, as well as links to some of the products I mentioned. This is not what my channel is going to be about. I just have uh, some experience in the topic, so I thought I would share it with you guys. I uh, hope you join me again next week for something else to talk about. Uh, Alright, have a good weekend, you guys. Bye.